Dude, I'm actually in Germany. The heck? It's my first time in Germany. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. This will be an experience. We're at our first McDonald's, but it's in Germany. Yeah, I'm excited. No way. Dude, we're in the queue on Expedition G Force. There's no line. Oh my god, I'm so hyped. This is insane. Dude, 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 dude. Oh, oh my gosh. What the heck? No flipping way. I am. Oh. All right, all right. Right now, gonna go do Sky Scream or whatever it's called, Sky Scream or whatever. Gonna get the three credits out of the way, hopefully. Maybe the Kitty Coaster, and then I'm gonna go back to the Expedition G Force. Got one ride on, ride on it so far. That one ride was in the middle row, so I really wanted to get that done just to get it. Just you know, I've ridden it. We can go do the other credits, and then we'll be back. This is pretty cool. I don't remember this being here, or I may have to do this. I have to see. This looks nice, but yeah, uh, I. It's good. It's really, it's good. I just need a back row ride because I know that drop is really good in the back. I want to try it. It looks like it's a little cloudy, so I have to wait and see. But, you know, I may, I may skip out on this thing because I, what is it? It is, well, my watch isn't even on. <laughs> it's like five, no, not, the park closes at 5.30. It's like four right now. So I want to get some stuff out of the way, get some footage and yeah, it'll be, oh, the corkscrew, I forgot about this. This part of the park is really cool, but let's go do this. I know there's a haunted house in here, I think. This will be fun. All right, so we just finished our couple hours here at the Holiday Park, and man, was it great. Oh, I didn't even, like, oh yeah, there's, there's drop tiles just sitting up there. But yeah, it was a good day. Oh yeah, I gotta, I gotta get my park maps too. But yeah, it was a great day. Got four rides on Expedition G4, G-Force and got the two other credits, which weren't that special, but Expedition G-Force, man, that's definitely a front row ride. I love that thing, it's, it's so good. It's so flipping good. The airtime is so good, especially in the front, the wind. The only reason I think people could say it back was better is because of the drop. But I don't think the drop is good enough to justify the back being better than the front. The front is just so good. And man, I absolutely love this thing. So uh, tonight we are driving through Luxembourg and hopefully and going to go tomorrow at Popsalem de Pani. Or Pan, whatever you say. But we'll be uh, going there yesterday, uh, tomorrow. It'll be great. We're about to leave right now, obviously. And it's going to be good. Um, it's really funny, like, I, I just still just gotta get used to it with these European parks, but, um, one thing is, like, ooh, a park announcement. You start listening to the announcement, and I was like, oh crap, it's, like, in <laughs> German, so, I was like, even if the ride broke down, I wouldn't know. I mean, it's fine, but whatever. Uh, yeah, as you can see, it's getting really gloomy out. I'm surprised that the ride's didn't close, but I guess it's just too far away. Yeah, look at this high-level, high, uh, budget parking lot. It's so nice. I, I think I know a lot of... European parks do this, but yeah, we are leaving uh, Holiday Park. Good visit, Expedition G Force. There it is. Let's head out. All right, we have made it to Popsaland, Japan. This is going to be a good day. I'm really excited. It's a little cloudy, so. It's a, it's a worrisome, but you know, we got time travel, or not time travel. It used to be called time travel, but ride of happiness. Dang, I'm so excited for that. That looks so good. May just even be better than, you know, time traveler, <laughs> which is gonna be so fun. You get the Scott Anibus or wherever you pronounce it, Heidi. Got all those rides. There's this one like water ride that I think I might just be a credit. It's not listed in RCDB. It's a mock power ride, power splash, or whatever it is. So I'm just gonna count that as a credit. I'll put it at bait on my Instagram or something. <laughs> I'm excited. It's gonna be a good day. All right, so we just got got off Anibus and Anibus, what do you, whatever you call it. But man, that was that launch is fantastic. I very find it very similar. Other than that launch, very similar to Daredevil Dive. But man, it was still fantastic. And as you can see, this this area is really cool. 
Uh, this is how Yara Parks do. They have great theming and stuff. It looks great. There's a, that's for a teacup ride. Like, look at that. Come on, this is just Castle for teacup ride. And there's time. Uh, I keep calling it time travel ride to happiness. And man, just gonna go around and probably get some credits. But I love this park so far. Getting a little close here. All right, so a little update. We have gotten five rides so far. But now, yes, now we are going to go and ride. Yes, you know, ride to happiness, bro. I'm so excited, bro. It's the last credit of the park. Still plenty of time. Park closes at six, so uh, plenty of time. My man. Oh my God, this is a kitty. It's pretty cool, but yeah. Dang, I'm so flipping excited. I'm trying to find a way. I hope it's over here. Dude, my hypeness is beyond, it's, it's insane. Let's hope it's over here. I'm not sure. We'll have to see. Um, we're gonna go and I, I, yeah, I'm, what's what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I so it's hard as one of the best coasters in Europe. So I'm excited. Let's go. There it goes. Watch. I just got off this thing, full credits, completed the park, and it's really good. Man, I love this thing. Uh, I'm, I wouldn't, I didn't have like two super high expectations. I would say they kind of met them. It's a really good ride. I'm not sure if I would say it's as good as Time Traveler. That's the thing. Uh, I got four rides on it. Got one in the back. I got them in both back seats. And still, that drop isn't as good as the drop out of the station on Time Traveler. But the rest of the ride is pretty good. This one out of the station is pretty good. I think it's it's comparable to Time Traveler. I'm not sure if it's completely better. But I've got four rides, all rows except front, which I'll probably want to get later. Uh, but man, it's still, it's still a good ride. Love this thing. Definitely best in the park. Uh, and I'll have to get some more rides on today. Let's see. <laughs> Well, I guess that'll do it for the day. Here at Flopsland Japan, I just got one more ride on this. I ended in the front getting five rides today, and I just gotta say, yeah, this is surprisingly like, really good in the front. Like, I don't know what it is, but like, that front row ride was really good. I'm not sure if any of the other elements were like, like, I don't know, it's, it's hard to say, but man, the front, this thing was really good. The back might have like the drop, really beat but man that like that launch is more powerful uh, for some reason in the what is it front and it was honestly just a really good ride i i do like this ride it's not i mean it's so debatable between which is better this or time traveler sparks up a good debate i'm i think i still may lead it towards time traveler but still this is a great ride i love this so much uh sad i'll be leaving it out there's the other wooden coaster or the wooden coaster here uh, obviously that's a white lightning clone did that earlier but yeah um still good there um well yeah so i'm broke right there but yeah i mean it was oh it's okay so uh today we're gonna head over to brussels and we're gonna be at our hotel tonight so we're not gonna be going to any more parks but that'll be fine because we're gonna be going to wallaby belgium tomorrow get to ride conda which i'm super hyped about and man this is this is still a good park we did uh, by the Popsoy company, they own Holiday Park, this and more, but we did uh, this in Holiday Park yesterday, so back-to-back -back dates for this company, but, um, or the chain, it's not, it's a very small chain, but, yeah, uh, well-run park, it was really fun here, so, on to Brussels. And And just like that, we are in Wallaby, Belgium. Got fast passes. Gonna go to Conda first, because, you know, who doesn't want to do Conda? It looks insane. Oh, man, I'm excited for a good day. Nine coasters here. There's one of them, another wooden coaster. Excited to go do Conda, finally. No way. Okay, first of all, Conda's running like three, five, I don't know. It's running so many, at least the dispatches are so fast. I saw it like three, four, five minutes, so I'll go around three times. This is insane. Oh my gosh, we're actually doing this. This is insane.
Dude, I just did Conda. That was insane. It's, this makes me more excited for Pantheon, to be honest. I haven't done Pantheon yet, but man, the theming, they were so fast, the dispatches. That was insane. Good airtime. It's kind of tense. It has some good positives, some good negatives. I mean, wow, that was really good. Thing. Entman really did well with that. And they, what's the way? It's Psyche Underground or something. We're going to try to do that. But, um, you know, it's going. I mean, there's nine credits, so we're going to try to knock those out. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> we just went by Kikiwaka to go do that. That's broken down, too. Uh, kind of broke down. That's why we'll have to go to the other coasters. But you know, if we, it opens back up, we'll, of course, we'll be back. So, um, wow, this looks so cool. Psyche Underground. I don't know. I guess that's how you say it. But let's do it. Okay, big update. We left Wallaby, Belgium. Uh, got five rides, and Conda did that for like one of the last rides in that backseat. That thing is so good. And as you can tell, we're at a fair. Yeah, we're at a fair in Antwerp or Antwerp or whatever it is in Belgium. Uh, apparently, there's four credits here. I've already done two. There's that one. And I actually didn't know this was a credit until I just wrote it. Um, so I guess this was an extra one. This is a, a, kind of a haunted house, but it's definitely a coaster. I, I posted a debate, and as you can see at the end, uh, there's a guy with a chainsaw. Like, as, and as the ride ends, and there it ends right there. There's an actual, like, actual, like, scare actor right there, which is nice. He actually like hit me in the shoulder, which is just the unpredictability, unpredictability of fares. But yeah, it's definitely a coaster because I had a lift. Um, you know, like uh, there's that one ride at um, Casino Beer, uh, the the Pirates Hideaway or whatever, and it had that type of lift, the circle lift. So it's definitely a coaster. But man, uh, gonna try try to go do the other coasters, such as a Wild Mouse and a Kitty Coaster. So let's go do that. All right, today, as we're going through pretty quickly, we're here at Babahan Land. Um, got some good coasters here, Typhoon, uh, Fury. I'm really excited for Fury because of the choice between going forwards and backwards. They got eight coasters here, and I'm excited to have a fun day. Uh, let's jump in. All right, I did Typhoon. Uh, super old girl flower. It has some wacky elements and some weird straight sections, but you know, it was okay. It was a little rough. It's fine, and now we're gonna do Fury. The crowds are like insane. Like the line for Typhoon is probably like three hours. So uh, we're really lucky. We got this. Can't really see it. We got an express pass, so that's really helpful. Even though you only get one ride, which sucks a little bit, but it's okay. Uh, let's go do Fury. <laughs> Okay, that's the weirdest coaster of the trip so far. We just did Revolution. Like, that is so weird. Like, it goes up in a helix, like on the lift, of course. And it's just a long helix lift. It's like one box. Then you go down three helix. It's just one helix throughout the whole thing. So, it's a little weird, but it's... I mean, I'm, I'm expecting a weird coasters on this trip. But it's it's not... It's it's fun. It's enjoyable. It's just something special. It's just really weird. Definitely, yeah, as I said, weirdest coaster of the trip. My be one of the most weirdest coasters that I've ever done. Go search for POV, it's not, it's pretty cool actually. No! No, I think, uh, I'm assuming that says it's closed, but no, King Kong's closed. This thing looks like, it's actually like more massive in person than you think, like, uh, like as you see in videos. It's closed though, it sucks. I really want to do this. I mean, it's cool to see it, but you know, I would like to do it. And we are here at Toverland, another day in the, on our coaster in Northern Europe. And yes, we're here at Toverland. Uh, this place looks so cool. Uh, one thing, I haven't seen Phoenix run yet, which is a little worrisome because I've seen a couple of like, decent amount of times, but 
There's Troy. It's definitely running, running pretty fast. Two operation, uh, two train operations. I'm assuming. Uh, maybe three. Who knows? But uh, yeah, this park looks so cool. Um, it's way, way less crowded than yesterday, which is, you know, great sign. And it just, it's a perfectly sunny day, which is, you know, not what we've gotten so far on the trip. So I'm excited for a good day here at Toverland. Isn't this so peaceful, bro? It's insane. It's so quiet. This whole part of the park has been dead. Like, I'm serious. Like, dead the whole day. The line for Phoenix isn't, isn't long at all, man. This is insane. It's so nice, so peaceful. Getting footage. I mean, it's... it's what is it? It's about 5... 5.02. So, still got a little bit of time left. Park closes at 6. I'm gonna try to get some more footage. Ride Phoenix maybe one more time. Have to see. And go do Troy at the end. To end off the day so i love this park it's really it's really nice uh, this park this part of the park is way more peaceful than the rest of it all right just got off troy just to, in the last 10 minutes of the park opening i did four rides in a row without getting off on troy and wow uh it's it's a it's a mid gci i'm not saying it's like super special like some people claim it to be but that was that was really fun uh we got last out of the night on the third my third ride and then we went around one more time so they just made it extra special uh, total in doing their job making a fun experience but man that was good uh, last, start the, last start of the day or night whatever it is and it was really good uh, so that'll be it from total for today it was a great day and that was doing its final test runs and i also got a cool look at the train as you probably saw so uh there it goes uh that'll be it for today at total and here we are today we're here at efteling and i can already tell it's very 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 crowded so uh well at least we have a savior uh we have an app shows the wait time so that'd be really nice but here we are at Efteling uh, so far I think I know what I'm gonna call it based on what I've seen European Disneyland definitely looks like or Disney uh, just European Disney in general that's exactly what this park will be but man I'm excited for this day uh, there's more than just coasters here that's for sure uh, there's Symbolica which looks like to be a great dark ride and so many other cool attractions that I'm excited to check out but Baron that still looks really nice hey <laughs> What the actual heck? Dude, I just did a Hollander. I haven't been a while since it's been a while since I vlogged, but I just did Hollander. What the actual heck? Spoilers, I will get into spoilers. If you haven't, don't want to know, haven't written it yet, all of that. Um, so starting now, um, dang, that one thing before the lift, that surprise where you go up, you go down the little drop and go into the lift, that caught me off guard so much. That is probably my favorite ride here so far, maybe even over Symbolica. Uh, I know it's tough to beat it, but still, like, dude, in that ship and the rain and that is, that was, that scene was just so, so cool. Uh, so now we're going to probably head over to the Eagle Rock or whatever it's called uh, thing. Try to do that. Uh, get the credits out of the way. We've already done three. I did Max and Moritz, this Python, and the other uh, and what we just did, of course. So we're going to probably go do that ride, then come back and do Baron and Jorz and, and the Drak. So it's been a good day so far. Uh, you know, it's already 155 because the lines are pretty long. Yeah, like Python's like 50. Uh, Baron's 80. Uh, There's a lot of long, long lines here, so that was just limit our rise just a little, but man, it really has been a good day so far. All right, change of plans. Uh, instead of walking over there, we're going to walk over to um, Baron, which is now a 70 minute wait. So, uh, yeah, see, 45 for Python. So, yeah, let's go do Baron. And here we are, another park, another day on the trip. We're here at Wallaby Holland. That's one of my most anticipated parks. 
of the whole trip, man. We're gonna go straight to Untamed and do glide through all those great coaches here. And I'm, it's gonna be a hype day. We're already equipped with our all of our passes, our parking ticket, and our fast pass unlimited. That's what I got. So obviously it's pretty crowded. There's a lot of school groups, I'm assuming. So I'm excited. We have a good day. Get some rides on Untamed, which I'm so hyped for. I'll make sure to get my reaction on this vlog. Oh my gosh, we're here, dude. Oh, I, it's going up the lift. We're at Untamed, bro. Dude, I'm so hyped, bro. Look at this turn. It's open. Oh. Dude, 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 dude. Oh, I'm speed. Oh, this is, I'm so excited, bro. Wow. Dude, I just didn't tame. That was crazy. I can definitely tell. Definitely tell. It needs to warm up. It's running a little sluggish at the moment, but um, we'll just have to see you later. I like, get uh, near park closing if I get on this. Man, that will be good. It's still good even if it's running slow in the morning. That was just fantastic. Airtime, all of it. Uh, it's obviously not my favorite RMC. It's one of the best coasters I've done here in Europe so far. It's probably the best one so far, to be honest. Uh, just made better than Conda. That was absolutely fantastic. Uh, probably gonna go around right now do some of the other credits because uh, I want to get those done and then come back here footage of all the rides ride some more and it's gonna be a good day so uh, yeah it was, it was I, I still loved it that untamed is absolutely fantastic this whole area is really cool and there it is in the background but man it's a good start and just like that we spend the full day driving and now we're here at See, Ronalyn. This park looks so cool. I know it's really compact. We have eight coasters. Gonna look to get all of them done. It's 627. Park closes at 10. Probably gonna stay till then. Uh, get Monster. Uh, I'm excited for that. Looks like the best right here, maybe. And I'm excited because, especially with Monster, because uh, I went to Claremont Steel Fabricators in 2020 and I saw the track for that. So it'd be really cool to ride the track that I saw just laying there in pieces. So excited for a couple, some good rides here today at Ronalyn. Yes, yes, I know. Bit of a time jump. Dude, Cole Martin, we're here, what the heck? Dude, this is a wildfire, I'm about to get on. Oh, it looks so good, I'm so glad it's running too. Dude, this is gonna be insane, I'll give you my reaction. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited, bro. All right, it's been a little bit since I got my first ride on it, because yeah, I got 10 rides on this thing, which is just insane. My reaction, I mean, dude, this thing is insane. Like, top 10 all the way. It's one of the best woodies out there, wooden coasters in the world. Dude, I, I, this thing is so good. I've gotten all the rows, front, back, middle. Gotten 10 rides on it so far. Obviously, I'll be back, I'm just gonna go, to, go yeah, going to go do the kitty coaster right now, so. I'm gonna get that done, maybe get some footage, ride it a couple more times. This I've got so many POVs too. This thing is insane. Like it has some fantastic airtime. It's not that but I feel like the fanta that fantastic air airtime isn't the best part of the ride. It's more of like it's just so relentless and like that stall is so good, that sideways airtime is so good, the view is insane. I, I love this thing so much. It's it's just massive too. And the way it interacts with the terrain is just so good. I, I love this thing. All right, bit of a time jump. I <laughs> kind of forgot to vlog the opening of this day, but yeah, we're at Leesburg for the night. We're gonna get all the coasters, except Balder, which is of course closed, but we're at Helix. It is, and my watch is there working for the daily time, time whatever. It's about 9.45 right now to get this. I was told the rides close at 10.30, even though the park closes at 11. So we're gonna try to get this and then Valkyria, and that'll probably be it. So we got all, so we'll get all the operating coasters. But of course, we'll be back tomorrow. So um, it'll be nice. Uh, but man, I'm so excited for this. This queue is actually pretty cool. I haven't heard the best. It looks cool. And we're getting close to the station. I'm really excited to check this thing out. Oh, 
All right, lots of stuff has happened since the last vlog, the last uh, clip of this. But man, we're here at Tavoli Gardens. Yeah, I know, a bit of a time jump. We're here, just, you know, people here just watching <laughs> Ghostbusters Afterlife. This park is beautiful. Like, what the heck? I just got in here. I'm gonna try to get the three coasters. Uh, it was actual four, actually four coasters, but I've heard one of them is down. So I'm gonna go do this wooden coaster first. Ghostbusters Afterlife, though, that's so weird. As you can tell by that last clip, we are in the middle of nowhere, but it was in the middle of nowhere. Some great parks like this one for Summerland. Yeah, we're here at Farouk. Uh, we're going to go in. Uh, there's eight coasters here today. Um, one of them is Phoenix, which is the new first one twenty two Vacoma coaster. Excited for that. That looks nice. I think it's like Lynette or something. And there's eight coasters here. That's another Woody and Vico another Vacoma over there. It's going to be good. We're only going to be here for a little bit because the clouds are rolling in and we're going to go to the Jurors later. But we're gonna go and do Phoenix and try to get all the credits, so let's go. Yo, we're here at the Jersey Summerland. Thanks to them, first off, for the complimentary tickets. Uh, very, very thankful for that. Uh, definitely a great job by their team. But yes, we are heading over to Pro here at 10. Oh, this is my first Mega Light, which is insane. I'm so hyped for this. It looks insane, even though it's not that high, but still, I'm so excited for this. I've heard so many good things about it. Let's go do it. All right, so that'll recap our very uh, busy day. We did two parks, and now we're walking out of uh, DeJure Summerland. Got all the credits, as you might have already seen, but um, got all the credits and just got Puritan. Last third of the night, double. Well, the other day, last third, of the, last third of the day, but we got a double. Got two rides on it. The thing is an airtime machine. It's, it's the airtime is so good. Packs such a huge punch. Front all the way, in my opinion. I don't think it, I think it obliterates the back seat, but you know, those, I love the airtime. I'm not sure if it makes my top 25 again. I think it's getting there. I'll have to see, but that thing is a beauty of a coaster. Uh, more parks need those. Uh, they may not get them, but they need them. So, um, and now we're leaving. It was a good day at both parks. Got like 16 out of 16 credits today, which is insane at both summer lines. So good day here at the Jurors. This is unreal, dude. We're in Andrewlandia. <laughs> Just got in. We're gonna. Be, I'm at 698 coasters at the moment. This is insane. I'm about to get 699, and I guess you know, you know, can't even see it. It's Zadra. <laughs> That'll be my 700th throw. Yeah, you'll see it now. That is looks. It looks so insane, dude. I am so hyped. 700th is Zadra. I don't know what to do on the way. Something maybe SLC I'll have to see. Gotta get one more credit to Sun Hunters, but man, we're here, we're here. I'm like, at, oh my gosh, I am, this is insane. We're in Energylandia, dude. I am, I can't even comprehend. I wanted to go to this park for so long. Let's go do it. Yo, it's got a bit of an update. Dude, I did Zadra as my 700th coaster. That was, that was really, really good. Not top five RMC. I wouldn't say that yet. Yeah, did in the front row for my 700th ride, but that was still really good. I think if I do it in the back and actually get room, which I'm actually not sure if that'll happen, it could be up there. But man, that thing is so fun. I also did the two, some two of the kitty credits. So I've gotten four of the 17 here. I'm gonna go do that uh, Vacoma coaster and then do another Vacoma coaster in Abyssus. I'm excited for Abyssus. Uh, I'm excited to see what it does. and. It looks really nice, and this whole area looks nice because 
you know, it is new. So uh, let's go do that, bro. Another day, another park. Yes, today we're here at Movie Park Germany. I'm actually really excited for this park. You know, it's four o'clock, we only got two hours because they close at six. Um, so uh, we'll try to get all the eight coasters, but I'm really excited for Star Trek and some of those. That wild mouse, like that SpongeBob wild mouse, I've seen cool things about that, uh, POVs of that. But yeah, we're gonna go in. I'm excited for this day. It's funny because they keep hearing like Harry Potter music, but you know, it's a uh, Warner or whatever it is. So. Um, you gotta get used to it. I feel like I'm back at Universal at home, so it's kind of cool to see that, but let's get, jump in. That's when they walk out, not when they start not letting people get on the ride. No joke, bro. Finally, we are here at Hansa Park. I, you have no idea how excited I am. Dude, you, I'm not sure if you can see it, you actually kind of can. There's Karnan. I am doing Karnan, de schwer des Karnan, however you pronounce it. I am doing that today. I'm so excited, dude. It's it's just Hansa Park today. Tomorrow will be Heidi, obviously, you probably already know, but um, yeah, I'm I'm so flipping excited, bro. You can see uh, Highlander, which uh, I'll see if I'll do it or not. I'll have to see. I mean, I think we all know the story behind that, but. Oh, dude, I'm so excited for Karnan and, like, uh, the other one, too. I forgot the name of it, but, uh, uh Fluke von Novgorod. I'm excited for that, too, and it's, it's gonna be a fantastic day, especially with Karnan. You know what I'm talking about. If you're, uh, for, in this visit, you're probably gonna be spoiled if you haven't written it, so just know that I'll probably spoil Karnan when I do my review. And I already, I'm already spoiled by it, so who cares, but, uh, yeah, I'm excited to experience that, so let's jump in. Dude, I just did Karnan. What the actual heck? You can probably hear them going down. Yeah, spoilers I said earlier. That drop, oh, oh my gosh, dude, that is insane. That is just insane. I <laughs> mean, I, I'm almost speechless. Yeah, I, I was spoiled a little bit going into it. I already knew there was a drop there, but it still gets you. That's so nice. And the rest of the ride was so cool too. It's like that inversion at the end. Dude, this the theming is top notch. I'm doing the mine train now, but that was just so good. Top 25 all the way. I love this park so much. Dude, just did Karnan last ride of the night. That was insane, bro. Dude, I, I, I've gotten two rides in the best coasters. Funny story, I uh, <laughs> it, was, it was really close because I guess they closed it. 15 minutes early, so I was walking over from Fluk von Novgorod, and then I saw, like, and then I saw, like, um, it was closing it, and I was like, oh, shoot, I gotta go, and I just ran, I sprinted, and I barely got in, that was so nerve-wracking, but I got it, so I got two rides in both, and, man, uh, these top two, man, it's insane, like, highly themed, packs a punch, I mean, great rides overall, but I love this park, uh, this should be the last minute. This park, um, I really like it. The theme in here is fantastic. And it's overall such a great experience. So, on to Heidi Park. And already, we've ended our day at Heidi Park. Did some of the slides and it was, it was, it was a great day. Uh, this park is actually a little bit better than I expected. Uh, yeah, the rides aren't incredible, but, uh, I wouldn't say. But some of them are just fun. And I, I like the vibe of this park, and there's a lot of cool things that make this park uh, have a lot of character. So, uh, glad I visited here, that's for sure, especially with uh, eight coasters. Yeah, uh, one of them wasn't open. Uh, that was Big Loop or whatever it was, but still. Uh, it, was, it was a great day here, and, and uh, it was really fun. Dude, no flipping way. We're at Fantasia Land. And we just got into the hotel. The actual hike. This is insane, bro. You can see fly right there. Oh my gosh.
Oh my gosh, we just got in the park and now we're just looking around here. It is closed right now because they're working on it, but it will probably be open later. So lots of people waiting. We're probably gonna go to Taran or well, that side of the park first, but man, this is if this is just the first look, this is insane, bro. This is literally insane. I am so excited to ride something. Oh my gosh, dude. We're in Klukheim. I am speechless. Oh my, I, I can't even, this is insane. That, oh, I just got off Terran front seat. I am borderline speechless. If this thing did not have any like theming around it, it probably wouldn't make my top 25, but with the theming and the launches and the waterfall like right over there, uh, I, I am almost speechless. This thing is incredible. The theming, it's so long, it's so fast. It's an, makes my top 25 all the way. Dude, this thing is incredible. There it goes right there. This thing is, it's, it's literally just insane. Front row all the way, if you get I got some room. Uh, yeah, it was like about a 50 minute wait, and but still, it was so worth it. Uh, probably gonna look around the park a little more uh, after this. But this thing was just incredible. Uh, definitely will be back for more, that's for sure. All right, we're here at dinner. Look at this, this, is, this is, isn't the menu. You can actually get it on a barcode here. This is just so in detail. Of course, I can't read it because it's German, but it's so detailed and just this whole place is really nice. Excited to eat here. We'll be eating here tonight and tomorrow night. So and I'm also excited for later today or tonight, which we will go to get to walk around Ruthberg at night. So that will be really cool. And now we got the main course. It looks delicious. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That looks good though. And just like that, we're here in Ruchberg. It's past 830. And I'll definitely be back here later tonight uh, because it, of course it'll be darker outside. But man, this is just incredible. Yeah, see how many people are here? Like there's barely like, there's like four people other than me out here. It's insane. This thing is so beautiful. Like, especially when you get to walk around it and there's like nobody here, it's insane. But man, uh, this just looks, it just really just looks insane. I'm excited to get some night shots of this uh, and a ride tomorrow too. I, lo I love this thing, uh, it's really fun. I already rode it today, so. Uh, yeah, we're gonna walk around here and check it out. like that the day's over man this is a great day i got so many good rides i got some nice footage of black mamba uh fly and it's now six o'clock i just got two rides oh well two rides so total just got one more ride here on Terran. dude i i love this ride so much i will i will find it very difficult if any ride could beat this out of all the coasters over in europe i mean this thing is insane i love that launch i will sit here and watch that launch all day listen to it anything it's insane. Here it comes. It's, it's insane. It's, it's literally insane. I love this thing so much. Uh, just like last night, we got dinner for tonight. I'll probably bring you some updates. And then uh, we got another night of just walking around Rootberg at night, which will be fun to see again. Uh, make sure to bring some content to you guys from that. But I'm going to head over to the hotel. Like I said, dinner's about to start. So let's go. You've probably already seen some videos of this, but I, oh my, I, like last night, I didn't walk down here when it was completely dark, and now I am doing that. This is just insane. It is just stunning. I'm more excited to go back up there and look at the view from the top, but oh my gosh, like the theming and everything about this is just crazy. And I just, there's that, 
conversion right there. This thing's insane. Especially how it looks, especially at night. It's just, I'm almost speedless. Like, it's insane. Oh man, we just got out of the hotel. This is so weird. I'm looking around. I was so immersed that like the cars right now just look so weird. Like what are cars doing? Well, it's so weird. I was that immersed. This is insane. All right, uh, a little bit of an update. Uh, we are here in Tripsdrill uh, at this really cool park. I've enjoyed it so far. Uh, yeah, I've gotten one ride on Hell's Uber Cough. That's how you pronounce it, I guess. So. Uh, and we've walked around. We got in here only about like 30 minutes ago, so I've already got one for our ride. Getting some footage right now, getting to ride a couple more times, but an overall review on it, uh, it's super fun. I absolutely love the fact that it's an inverted coaster with three inversions, and it has a lap bar. Uh, it's just a really fun coaster. Vacoma uh, did really nice with this. Like, a lot, obviously, a lot of uh, Vacoma's coasters in Europe are really nice, so uh, I'm excited I got to ride this. This was actually uh, really fun. I hope more parks uh, implement uh, this version of a coaster into their parks. Wow, there is that. Dude, I didn't vlog that much today. I was really just taking it in because we were really rushed. But yeah, that was the last park of the trip. of Co Coaster Northern Europe 2022. And man, this was an incredible trip. Yeah, I'll probably still have some vlog like coming tomorrow and stuff. Probably see that. But yeah, it's the last park and I already got my last ride. The last ride was on Voltarium. Last coaster was on the, uh, uh, the water coaster and what one of the water parks the water coaster is the one in the back and yeah it was a great day to end it i'm just a little bit sad i only got one day at this park uh i originally planned to but since we kind of had some uh timing a little bit difficulty of that we kind of made this the last one and only got one day so um it was it was still a great day though i love this park got all the rides i wanted to do all the credits and also got voltarium and pirates and batavia so, and dude, I just love this park. This is one of my favorite parks, to be honest. Theming, everything about it is just incredible. So, you know, that's it from the Europe parks of the trip. Uh, as I said, I'll probably vlog a little bit more on the plane tomorrow, we'll flying home tomorrow, but man, uh, there's Silver Star. Was, I love this park. Uh, it's a great trip. So, there's to the trip. <laughs>